Hi everyone, today I'm going to go through um, sort of the basic features of the Concepts app, which is what I use for all my drawing work. So this is the sort of main screen of the app, um, and this is where you can create different folders and create different projects. So um, in this folder I've um, just got a couple of sections, so I'm going to create a new page um, down here. Okay, so um, first I'm just going to go through some of the settings up in the top right hand corner. And uh, background, you can sort of play through some of the different settings, but I normally just use plain white. Um, if I'm doing some sort of picture, then um, I'll use the transparent mode. Um, next, you can select um, if you want a grid, no grid, or line paper, isometric. The main two I use is probably the graph paper and isometric. Uh, artboard styles is where you can set your canvas. I tend to just use infinite, but um, if you want you can mix around, you can change it to millimeters or um, use a different kind of resolution. Next you can set drawing scales. I normally just have it one to one. But again, you can change it to whatever you want, really. Um, if you wanted to do a detail to 1 to 20, you can. And again, the units, you can change to whatever you want. I am comfortable using millimeters, but if you want to use pixels or points, then, um, then you can. Next, you've got the stylus. Obviously, I'm using the Apple Pencil, and this is where you can sort of adjust some of the, pre uh, the preferences. Uh, what's also great with the Concepts app is um, using your finger, there are different uh, different functions. So single finger I use as the select select tool, but again you can change it to, to one of these settings. And double tap is, I've got set as nothing, but again feel free to set it as you like. Um, uh, gestures, so one finger or two fingers, um, up to you. Again, some more some more settings. Uh, frequently used ones is two finger tap to undo. Um, I rarely use the redo, uh, but feel free to change it. So you can tell it's very, very customizable. Next up here in the top right hand corner, you've got, um, I don't know what they officially call it, but I'll just call it the, the tool wheel. Um, so if I click in the colors, you can see there's a huge array of different colors. Um, if you click on the star, this is where you can sort of set your different palettes. So these are the main ones I use. I don't really need to use many fancy colours. Uh, black, red, blue, green, probably the most used ones, white and grey. Um, and then on palette 2 I've got sort of um, brown and orange. They're probably more for my hatching colours more than anything. Uh, but basically if you want to uh, add colours to a palette, you just click here, choose the colour that you want. Um, say you want this color, you just hold it and drag to any palette which you want. And you add it in and you can rename it. I mean, you've got some preset ones which you can use as well. Uh, and then along here you've got different types of um, tools to use. So up here I've got um, the pen tool. So you just press on it and you can change your brushes. Again, because I'm not particularly artistic, I just stick to a pen. Uh, but yeah, feel free to change whatever you want. Um, so that again, you can change the order in which these are. Um, so with the pen tool, you've got three other options as well. You've got um, the line thickness. So again, you can change these, use the slider to whatever you want, and then you can draw. Um, the zero percent. So that's this controls, I guess, how much it helps you with the, the linearity. So 100% is straight line. I use this all the time. Um, rarely do I deviate much from zero or 100. I might use 75 if I'm trying to draw, say for instance, like an arc, something like that. And then this is your opacity. So yeah, slightly different. Change that back to zero percent. Um, this one is just a pen, but I've got it preset at 100%. For um, for drawing straight lines, basically, 
next this is the hard mask uh, which is essentially your eraser and then we've got a fill fill tool so colors uh, you've got uh, undo and redo this is just another pen um, which I probably normally set out at 50% for drawing sort of curves um, this I rarely use again this is another sort of coloring tool not sure I really use it that often and this is a really good feature this is the nudge nudge tool so if you want to just make minor corrections you can and this is the splice tool I use this a lot um, I mean, say I'm just drawing lines, for example, and I just need to splice it. It's basically like a razor, but then you can just go ahead and delete stuff. Yeah, really simple. Um, so next, we've got uh, just underneath the tool wheel, you've got the palettes, which you, which I showed you earlier. So these were the two main palettes, and you can just swipe across the different palettes. Um, next, you've got um, your layers. Um, you can delete, add new layers. I'm not sure how many layers you can add, but I've never hit a maximum, so I don't think it should be a problem. Uh, yeah, there are, if you tap on layer, there are some tools, you can change the opacity, lock them, uh, rearrange them by just holding and, and moving around. Um, just uh, hide that. Next, you've got the precision. So um, I normally set it using graph paper but if you click there you can shortcut it to sort of change whatever you want if you want line paper it will change it dotted or no grid at all but I like keeping it in graph paper because I like um, even though I don't technically draw to scale I do like um, saying say for example that is going to be um, that could be like 100 mil so one square is 100 um, next you've got the snap tool I don't use this very often but um, basically it snaps to the grid so if you don't want it you can turn the grid off and it won't snap to the grid again you've got some different options but it's not something I normally use um, the measure tool again I don't really use this very often but um, someone recently posted a comment about it but if you uh, ticket to throw it on and you've got the set set scale to 1 to 20 um, you can change the scale to whatever you want and that's the drawing scale options there but when you draw a line it gives you the length and it's really useful so when you're drawing straight lines for example if you're not reliant on the grid and you say you just want a line of 2 meters you can do that so it's a really handy way of you know, knowing how, how long um, a line is and um, it's not only when you're drawing it it comes up, if you highlight the line it comes up with the length so that's really really handy. I should probably use it more often but um, I don't. Um, next is the sort of line guide and if you click there are some options if you want to create an arc, angle, ellipse or a rectangle essentially if you tick it it gives you a sort of guideline and you basically if you draw anywhere on the screen it will create the line and you can move about the line draw it move again draw another line it's really handy and you can move it around so that's um, some of the drawing tools and then you've got um, in the top left corner you've got import export so obviously export is exporting the drawing I'll go through some of the options later but import um, you can import photos um, go into the files import an image from there or you've got some preset um, shapes which you can use um, mostly ones I use probably just a normal square and you can manipulate it move it change the line And then up here you've got, um, so YouTube was the projects, which I'd called it. Untitled was the drawing, uh, the drawing name. So again, you can, if you, I think if you hold, hold long press, you can put in a, put in a title. 
and then this is the the layer which we're currently on so if you tap the layer different layers it, it changes up here okay so now I'm just gonna go through a really quick example on, on how I um, go about doing my sketches so in the first layer I'm going to create a new layer and call it proposed and normally I'll have one called existing and then I normally create a layer for notes or um, annotations um, I can add more layers later normally I might add in one if I'm doing some color um, but for now I'm just gonna leave it at three um, so I'm, I'm gonna be drawing a basement box so just for starters I just want to get a quick feel for some dimensions and I can quickly so now I've got it drawn on one side I know it's going to be in the same on the other so I can save myself a little bit of time highlight it all copy it just drag it away to show that I have copied it and I can just mirror it and then I can move it across to the other side uh, basement is going to be complete with a solid slab on top Now as you drag lines, the line type, line widths can change slightly, so I'm just going to highlight it all and then click my preferred uh, line fitness at 7 mil. Now if I was to annotate it, I'd go into the notes layer. Uh, I normally use a different color, so I might choose red. And I might just start um, labeling up some of, some of the key details. Okay, now that we've got the drawing up to a certain point, I'm going to show you how to um, export this drawing. So we go in the top left hand corner and export. Now you've got a, a list of options. Um, I think it's been a while, but I think to um, export into PDF and some of the, I think the Adobe PSD formats, um, you need to pay a, like a few pounds just to get that add on. Um, because if I believe um, when I first downloaded it, it was free. I'm not sure if it still is free, this app, which comes with a lot of features. But um, the main features I wanted was to be able to export into PDF because then I can 
manipulate it in um, Bluebeam, um, one of the pieces of software which I use for editing PDFs on Windows. Um, so the format I normally use is PDF flattened so that you can't um, move any of the lines um, whilst using Bluebeam or any other PDF editor. <clears throat> um, if I've got um, like a load of different drawings, say for example, on this massive canvas, I had a few other details, um, but I only wanted to PDF this particular detail, I'd go export and just do the screenshot. So anything which is within this view will be exported. Um, or if you, want, if you had a couple of um, different details or drawings and you just wanted to PDF the whole thing, by all means, just click entire drawing. Um, so that's the region and then the options, you can have it um, transparent or just plain white paper or you can show the grid. I normally either use transparent or paper, but again, it'll be completely up to you. Um, once you've set your settings, um, just click export. It will show you hopefully where to save it or not. Yeah, export, export to save to files, find where you want it. Let's say sketches, save. Boom, it's done. It's in the cloud and you can collect it on your PC or wherever you want. Well, that wraps up the video. Hopefully you found this helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe as this really helps me out.